Hello, my name is Victor Lowe, and today we're going to be talking about fish. Not like fish and chips. Not the fish you eat, but, uh, you know, fish that you keep in your tank, you know? So a good book to start first if you're wanting to keep fish is this book, The Encyclopedia of Aquarium and Pond Fish. Pretty much, it, you know, pretty much classifies all the non-eating fish, you know, like the fish you don't eat, like salmon and trout. Halibut, you know, tilapia, bass, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, you want to look at the first, you know, pages of it, you know. You know, like, uh, there's different kinds of water, fresh water, salt water. So, water is pretty nice, but it's very expensive to maintain. But, anyways, if you like it, you know, you can do maybe a 40 or 60 gallon because you don't want it too small because you gotta let the coral reefs you know grow so uh, yeah and uh, you know freshwater fish setting up the tank you know different kinds of tanks you know small rectangular small corner small hexagon double tank with connecting tunnels rounded glass tank and a large cabinet tank so you know Usually, uh, you know, if you have a large tank, you can put stuff in, you know, maybe, uh, like in a 60 gallon, maybe two gallons of it is, uh, you know, decorations, pretty much it, you know, you know, we'll just go through the basics, you know, you want to get a tank, you want to get some, uh, filter, usually you do, uh, uh, you know, one of those sponge, sponge, uh, filters an ammonium filter and then there's this uh bile thing in magic that you pour into it i'll show you in a later video and uh you know there's a what else is there you know you need a, a filter i think i said that already but anyways and rocks you know small small tank you know you always want an algae eater of course you know so uh yeah you know, there's different kind of mm, fish, you know, like a, like a Baja shark, redfin shark, blue daniel, green daniel, you know. You want to keep it simple, you know. Usually if you have a small tank, you just want rocks and you don't want anything else in there. If you have everything in there, algae is uh, hard to control, so you don't want that. And, uh, you know... Fish is nice, you know, like, uh, you don't want to put too much stuff into the tank. And, uh, you know, there's a uh, tropical fish, you know. You know, usually, tropical fish, I usually don't worry about the heat because uh, in the house it's uh, pretty warm. It's 21 degrees, so usually the water, uh, you know, slowly, you know, close to uh, house temperature, room temperature, you know. I think it's 21 degrees, 0.5, but anyways. This is obviously it's not Fahrenheit. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you put your fish, you know, make sure you, uh, you know, there's some products that say that, you know, you can put this in there and the fish doesn't, you know, it won't go into shock. That's not true. You want to, when you get the store from, like, Petland or wherever, put a bag, put it into the, the tank with the bag. Then adjust and pour some water, like, every five minutes from the tank into the bag and then release it and you have another fish in your tank so uh, yeah so if you have a small tank you know start you know small you know get used to it you know change the water I don't know every four months so three times a year and that's pretty much it that's the basics of it you know you want a glass you want a stand by the stand you know because aquarium is very heavy and, uh, you know, place it, not in the sun, but somewhere where it's shaded, but you can still enjoy it. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's, I don't know, all for today. So, uh, do a commercial here. G2 Gatorade. Orange. Not bad. Mm. Herbies. It's always good. You know. 
in the washroom to take away the smell, you know. And uh, that's it. So uh, buy this book if you want to, you know, learn how to do fish. It tells you a lot of uh, plants, fishes, you know, etc., etc. Yeah. So uh, you know, in Calgary, you don't want to do an outdoor pond. Well, you can, but you have to move the fish indoor in the winter because you know they'll freeze. So uh, that's about it. <laughs> wow. Yep. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, okay. If you like the video, press like. If you want to ask questions about fish, leave a comment below on this video. Okay. 55. Okay. See you later, guys.